Unreal Engine 5 just came out in April 2022, and it looks stunning. This upgrade from the previous generation may change the gaming industry. Suppose you're interested in games or game development. In that case, you need to watch this video and see what Unreal Engine 5 offers. Welcome to another video of the Modern Day Geeks. We'll discuss the newly released Unreal Engine 5 and how it can be the next gen 3D tech. One of the most vital features of Unreal Engine 5 is the new real-time global illumination and reflection system called Lumen. If you notice, a growing number of PC games that offer ray tracing. NVIDIA Technology RTX Ray Tracing allows us to have breathtaking graphics across multiple titles, such as Metro Exodus, Dying Light 2, and Cyberpunk 2077. Still, ray tracing in-game requires beefy hardware which most people don't have access to. Here's where Lumen comes in. Lumen accurately uses a fully dynamic indirect lighting, bounce light, and color bleeding, which means that the scene geometry material and sunlight can be changed in real time, both in-game and in the engine. Therefore, Lumen significantly reduces the artist's workload while simultaneously maximizing their resources. Now, Let's hop into the other prominent feature of UE5. UE5's cutting-edge mesh optimization system called Nanite promises endless possibilities in geometry. But what exactly does it do? Nanite allows high-speed, high-quality geometry rendering. Nanite can be used in highly detailed geometry without affecting your frame rate. How does it do it? Nanite is broken into several clusters, each act as its level of detail. Its size and poly count vary according to distance. The closer the camera, the smaller the cluster will be. This means the closer you are to an object, the more details you can see. And the further away you are, the larger the cluster is, which means fewer details are on the scene. This could mean artists can create or import highly detailed meshes with tens of millions of polygons scalable to billions and billions and let Nanite handle optimizing it. These significantly speed up the workflow of the artist or creator. Kind of unreal, don't you think? For example, the ability to sculpt highly detailed models with less effort means no more baking normal maps, no more fiddling with cages, and no more compromising on detail. This seems too good to be true, but it also had a downside. It's an expensive solution where Nanite stands out in optimizing on-screen details. It is exposed to large memory cost file size of Nanite assets are considerably larger than the normal level of detail solution means it's not possible to fill up an entire game with tens of thousands of Nanite assets. Another significant feature of UE5 is the direct integration of Quixel Megascan Asset Browser into the engine. Quixel Megascans are a collection of highly detailed photorealistic models that is created by scanning real-world objects using photogrammetry using photo scans. These are perfect for rapid development of the environment and scene that let the artist be creative as possible. The previous version of Quixel, Quixel Bridge, needs its asset to be imported manually in Unreal Engine 4. It has a slow runtime and may occasionally crash from time to time if imported with multiple assets. With the power of Unreal Engine 5, artists can drag and drop any model from the library directly into their desired scene. Best of all, this entire library is entirely free for all users, for Unreal Engine users. And if you're wondering if this is all true, yes, it's free. Unreal Engine 5 World Partition is a system that eases the creation of open world games. It could potentially be the most crucial feature for indie studios, as it automates much of what makes open world currently so hard to manage. World Partition divides your giant open world into more minor levels. So the player only sees what he needs to see, so it does not break the performance in game. In addition, a one file per actor system lets developers work on the same zone without bumping into each other's workflow. So this keeps devs work separate even when working on the same grid or area of the whole map. 
where it should make collaboration more accessible than it ever was. In the previous iteration of Unreal Engine's technology, devs must create animation using another engine. This made the animation workflow wearying for animators who had to go back and forth between different engines. Now, Unreal Engine 5 has built-in animation capabilities. In the new engine, you may not only design rigs and postures, but you can also use an IK body solver to produce genuine movement. You can also employ motion warping, which allows you to use one animation to make slightly distinct actions, such as jumping to different heights may vary the jumping animation. Unreal Engine 5 is transforming game development in several ways. Nanite technology is groundbreaking because it allows developers to use movie quality assets for free. Furthermore, the Lumen system simplifies the creation of realistic, dynamic lighting in games. Unreal Engine 5 developers will notice significant changes in their workflow. Artists are no longer required to bake their own meshes, animators can create all of their animations in the engine, and environment artists no longer need to set up lighting manually. While using Unreal Engine 5, everyone in the development team should notice some improvements in their workflow. So what do you think will be the gaming industry's future in the next few years? Let us know your thoughts, comment down below, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. This has been the Modern Day Geeks, and we'll see you in our future videos.